Welcome to something I've been meaning to do for way too freaking long now. Your eyes do not deceive you. No, I have not destroyed everything in my base, including my clothing. Welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever true free-to-play series of the Star Snipe existence. I know this is like five years too late. I am so sorry, folks, but it, there has just never been a more perfect time for this to go down. Star, oh my god, why have you decided to do this? Because honestly, a lot of the updates as of late for Last Down Earth, especially this latest one that's added in like this permanent calendar system, they're kind of geared towards earlier game players. And also since my last beginner series, tons of new content and locations like the port, for example, have come out that I've yet to experience in the context of a beginner series and kind of incorporate to my strategy and all that stuff and i, I don't know like just on t like on top of like other stuff too like some loot balance changes that have happened since the last time i've truly played as a beginner i just want to experience things from a beginner's perspective again there's so many events and stuff that only appear in the early game of last day on earth that we literally don't get to experience anymore on our end game account and hopefully that can be helpful and provide a more relatable guide and also content in terms of kind of the shenanigans that we are getting into to and like i did say true a free to play so we get to experience the struggle of what i feel like most last day on earth players the way that they play Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joining the ranks. Now, before you worry, no worries. We still have our main account for endgame content and new updates of that come out. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop, not just with this series, but also with all new updates and all that jazz. Because now we're going to get to experience updates, not just from an endgame perspective, where I may or may not have a massive stockpile of guns, but also from a slightly more naked perspective. And also, I would love to hear from you all in that comment section and down below. Would you guys maybe like to see like hybrid videos or something like that, where like maybe some videos have like a little bit of endgame content in them and then we kind of get back to the free-to-play series and progress in this or like any other ideas or what y'all might want to see out of our free-to-play series please let me know because i'm a man of the people and this is a historic moment that is long overdue so i want to make this absolutely as incredible of a series as possible for all you ladies and gentlemen and of course if this is a series that you are excited for please for the love of everything let me know in that comment section uh, down below and by hitting that like button it's a great way for me to know that this is a series that y'all are excited for and that y'all do want to see and especially with like like i said the updates lately i just feel like being able to start back from a beginner perspective will be a lot of fun because a lot of these updates that have been going on as of late like I'm telling you, okay, we gotta get to level 15 before we can even, like, experience this darn tune thing, but, like, I am telling you guys, a lot of the stuff, like, the event calendar that's now constantly gonna have a season going on, and a lot of the free rewards that can be gotten from the season, I think will really help in terms of, like, progressing as a beginner, so I am super excited uh, for that, so without further ado, let's go, and let's loot our very first thing. This is not the type of looting that I'm used to, but gosh darn it, I, I'm gonna have to get used to it, man. A lot of this stuff in my endgame eyes, I would not even bat an eye at. But a nice jacket and cleaver, I should equip myself. Even my guys telling me this is good stuff. So luckily, I got this, I got I got I got myself, man. I got myself over here to help me out with uh, some of the struggles that I might go through. So I'll be honest, there will probably be some struggles here and there. It has been so long since I was last a beginner. And you know what? If there are struggles, that's okay. We'll get through them and we'll probably have a laugh along the way. Because when I struggle, it tends to be quality entertainment. Now, without further ado, yay! Beautiful. Luckily, I still know how to be all sneaky dicky like and take out some of our comrades like this Roman zombie right over here. Nah, that's right. That's right. The zombie's from Rome. Just kidding. No, he's roaming. He's not from Rome. And okay, I thought I could maybe sneak up on you there, Mr. Ro uh, roaming zombie. But I suppose now I'll just go ahead and give you a little bit of that lickety splickety and uh, cut you up a real freaking good, baby. And let's go ahead and get to collecting a little bit of food as well. We're going to be needing that for feeding purposes because... Uh, uh, yeah, food and water is very important. And I do not just have a massive stockpile of food and water to rely on. That's actually something that I'm going to have to, like, consciously uh, do something about. And I'm going to have to, like, consciously go out and get food and make sure that I stay fed and all that stuff. Now, why don't we go ahead and actually just get to auto collecting here and pick it up everything that we can throughout our base. There should be plenty of these materials like plant fibers, wood, etc., etc. that we can go ahead and utilize for the greater good of surviving. But dude, I'm really excited just because like there's also like, I don't know, man, I'm excited to go back to like the airplane event, the hunting camp event, like all these events that it feels like forever since I have last experienced. Also, at least of whatchamacallit, like now when you do start out, you do get a little English. It's a very hard language. 
once you do start out, you do kind of like get this like a little work in progress basis, so to speak. But back in my day, when you were starting out, you didn't get nothing this nifty, all right? The base was not as fancy. So it is cool to see this, that we are going to be able to kind of have something uh, to build upon. Now, when it does come to building upon this, I'm probably not going to build too many walls too early on. This is always a big strategy in the last day on Earth because I know for a fact that there's going to be a horde coming my way about every day and Whoa! that's a noise i have not heard in so freaking long dude i almost forgot about it hopefully i mean at the end of the day please ladies and gentlemen keep your fingers crossed for me that hopefully we'll be able to get some good skills along the way because the value and importance of skills is actually insane in order for us to try to get some of these active skills like the roller the sprint to help us be more maneuverable like the self-healing skill over here for us to be able to freaking heal in the middle of combat and then a bunch of these passive skills like the extra pocket like burglar to get better loot like so many things that hopefully we can get speaking of which dude honestly i'm not gonna lie man fishing actually might be a somewhat viable thing for us to do too because uh which McCall, ever since like they added in the fishing trader i i'm gonna be honest man let's there, there's a, oh 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 you love to see that right there boy that right there the quick learner you get five more experience dude the earlier you get the experience perks the better and with it some brand spanking new blueprints as well now since the last time i began as a beginner they actually completely if i am not mistaken got rid of the crafting point system so you do not have to spend points to learn a recipe you just level up and you unlock the recipe so it's a little bit simplified so kind of handy dandy kind of nifty thrifty uh so to speak what up zombie what you got for me good stuff good stuff hopefully i can pick up some cloth too because it's not something i do a lot on our end game account but i can tell you right now Cloth is going to be mucho bueno. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got a zombie over there. I do not want to auto collect while that zombie's around because I would rather us get a little bit sneaky deaky over here and slice you up like the sushi chef that I am within. I've never made sushi before, but I can tell you right now, man, I enjoy quite a lot of sushi. So if this whole survival business thing doesn't work out, I'll become the greatest post-apocalyptic sushi chef the world has ever seen. My California rolls will be spoken of across the wastes and will be matched by no other. Because if there is another, I will kill them. That's right. There cannot be another sushi chef with Papa Star around. There's, <laughs> they can only be death. All right, so I might not be 100% sushi chef. I'll be like 75% sushi chef, 25% hired assassin. Hired by who? Myself. Self-employed, baby. What can I say? But all right, we're picking up some seeds and whatnot. The seeds are going to be, be pretty good for us because we are definitely going to want to get this garden bed crafted. Luckily, we got all the resources for that. Uh, how many seeds do we have? Because I'm probably going to want to get these seeds growing as soon as possible for us to uh, get the goodies that we get from that. And all right, now we got to get a crafting tool to collect the rest of this. Also, hold up. I might try to get a bit sneaky dicky over here and take down our dear compadres hello dear Yay! yeah that's right apparently sneaking right in front of this deer's face is just uh baffling that deer had no idea what to do with itself bruv yeah what up dear how you doing all right goodbye dear check the radio all right i'll check the radio what's up i gotta fill it up let's fill her up I, I gotta find a lot more stuff to finish. I, I thought that I might have a little bit more stuff than that. Oh, hey, look at that. More stuff. I'll be taking that. And is that what I think it is? A nifty little note. A list of tasks that is right. So from a beginner's perspective, and hey, maybe once y'all see this series, you know, maybe y'all have been away from Last Outer for a while, and maybe, I don't know, this will, like, inspire you to start a new or something, man. Because like I'm saying, if you started a game a long time ago and haven't touched Last Downer since, there are a lot of things that may have changed since the last time that you touched it, and a lot of that does come in the early game, like, for example, over here. I mean, this has been around for a while, but not since the very beginning. The list of tasks, vital notes carefully rewritten from carlos rudy's diary without further ado bada bing bada boom time to use my 500 iq play reading experience to read this thing now that when i say my past series have been 99 percent free to play what i mean is like i bought one thing that one thing this freaking diary right here because it was such good bang for your buck. But no, we are staying true. We're going 100% free to play. And I mean, listen, even though that's still super viable. And a lot of like the seasons and stuff that we're going to be doing. We'll also have some really great loot for us. So I'm excited for that too. All right. Enough of the other no, English is hard. Enough of that. Note number one by Carlos Rudy. If you happen to end up in a situation like mine, being all alone in the devastated world, submerged in chaos, read my diary. Hopefully it will help you survive. First of all, build a house. Homeless. 
you don't live long here, then you can unlock the full version. Yet that, that, that. Guess what? I'm not going to be doing that, Sonny Jimbo. I will not be unlocking the full version, but I will be taking some of that loot. Thank you very kindly. These rewards should be getting sent to our inbox. The full version does have some good stuff, but I am sorry, full version. I must uh, say no to you for now. Now, here's the nifty thing. We do still have the opportunity to get some coins throughout the survival guide, which is definitely nifty. And this is timed pretty much for the next 30 days. We are going to want to go ballistic on filling this thing out and picking up as much loot as we possibly can. can. So without further ado, I'm already getting hungry and thirsty. Here's the thing. I might allow myself uh, to... Oh, did I, uh, okay, I already read that. Hold up. So how's this work over here in the menu? Do I have like... We got the season over here, the calendar. How, how do I like actually keep track of... Uh, uh, of of like Rudy's tasks. I actually am not sure because I do I need a oh uh, oh, okay, so here's the survival guide. It's just like a tab over here in the shop. Okay, cool. So we just got to keep an eye on that. And this is, it's kind of works like a season, but doesn't have like a dedicated button. For example, like uh, season 20, which is currently going on, has right over here. Yeah, it just doesn't have like a dedicated button. But uh, we got to hit level 15. So like we, we do, so we can do a little double whammy and get season points on top of other stuff. I do think the season 20 is going to be coming to a close in like the next week or so. But hopefully we'll be ready for season 21 because now with the latest update to last day on Earth, pretty much every new season that comes out to the game, it's going to happen right after the other one, so we don't, we're not going to have to wait for long, which is definitely good. But okay, okay, why don't we go and I believe I needed some of that, needed some of that, needed some of that. Let's go ahead and repair a little radio over here. Hello, dude, do you not? Okay, don't, okay I'll, I'll just click the freaking fill up because apparently the other way wasn't working. And do I have some of these nuts? No, I don't have these nuts, brother. What? All right, I'm going to have to go out on a search, a humble quest to find some of these nuts. And yo, a pup. What a buckster. How you doing, bud? Looks like the dog wants me to follow it. All right. I, I did, okay, I'll, I'll be right there, bucko. I'll, I'll follow you. What's what, what's going to happen if I follow you? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit spooked. I, is this like one of those... It, 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 like, is this what I think it is? Is this like the series of events that occur? I have one hunger and one thirst. I might choose to die at home before I do anything. Because I think what this dog will do is got to summon an event. Also, early game, dude, I can tell you right now, we are going to want to hit up every airdrop that appears. Always a fantastic opportunity to get some uh, fan-freaking-tastic loot. And yo, there's a crash plane nearby. There are hardly any survivors, but they're going to be something useful. Dude, is it just me or is this plane like more south than I remember? I, I swear, the planes used to crash down here. Dude, where's the dog, by the way? What the dog doing? I, I swear. Is the dog just like trying to lead me to the plane? Oh my God, this map feels so much smaller without all of the map unlocked. I guess that's something that we're gonna have to be doing down the line. And also these bases that we can raid, like these one-time raids. Oh, we got some good stuff. All right, though, I gotta die at peace here inside of my base because especially early game, it's just a good idea to really not unnecessarily waste hunger and water. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm about to die anyway, so I should be good. Also, do another thing. 200 energy. Back in my prior beginner playthroughs, when we were kind of like starting out many, many years ago. Uh, whatchamacallit. Like, the big thing about those is that like back then, I believe you only had 100 energy. Just recently, I think like in the last year or like maybe two years ago. I don't entirely remember. Oh, get back here, Mr. Deer. Get back here. Ah! There you go. You are dead, my friend. Uh, I believe they doubled the total energy of 200, which is actually incredible news because that means we'll be able to knock out more per day before we actually got to worry about the fact that we will run out of energy, per se. Uh, but I think that airplane only has like about 59 minutes left on it, so we are definitely going to want to hit that thing up absolutely ASAP while I am just over here dying peacefully. Uh, why don't we go? After I die, I'm going to do a little bit of base building, too. I do want to get that uh, thingy majig. The, 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 the garden bed. I want to build a garden. I want to be the best gardener the world has ever seen. That's right. Best sushi chef. Best gardener. Best what, what, whatever, man. I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Do, do, do. In certain locations, you risk losing your items, but this time you can restore them. Bro, what do you mean? I'm 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 at my own base game. Why why would I even okay, so I may have just made a slight boo-boo because it looks like I didn't know this was a thing. I guess the first time you die, you get a freebie in terms of not losing your loot. I just wasted that freebie to fill up my hunger and thirst. So just goes to show we're learning things, baby. Call me reading rainbow. We're learning. And we learned that maybe you shouldn't unnecessarily die early on because I may or may not have just wasted something. Why is it pointing me that way, dude? Like, it just wants me to go to the map. Let's sit. I'll go to the map when I want to. That deer looked like it was still standing for a second. Uh, first things first, though. I mean, yeah, that, that, uh, that's kind of annoying. Whatever. All right. So I think it looks like, yes, sir. We got a little bit of jerky, a little bit of meat over there. Very good. Very good. Let's get to putting some of this stuff away. 
And okay, 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 okay. Why don't we? Hmm. I'm thinking I want to go over to my crafting menu. Right, and then we want to build this basic backpack actually ASAP. Hold on, do I have the rope? And this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This backpack, it is a little small. It is not of the size that I am used to, but it'll have to do. It, it, it will have to do, man. Hopefully we can get a tactical backpack actually from the season passes. The seasons tend to have a decent opportunity for free-to-play players to take a tactical backpack, so maybe that'll work out in our favor. I don't know. Time will tell. Um, Now then. We got that. We are going to want to do the woodworking bench as soon as possible. We're going to have to go and mine some iron ore before that happens. So why don't we just go use some wood, use some grass, and get the garden beds. I believe that would be a good usage here of our time early on. I got to craft the beds first before we do anything, like actually put them down. There you go. Bed number one, bed number two. What can I say, man? Call me a mattress firm. We got beds all over the place. And no, I'm not I'm not a secret money laundering operations. I have no, I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. I swear. Mattress firms, man. They are so sus. I've never seen a person inside of a mattress firm. You know, am, am I crazy? Am I going to the wrong mattress firms? Or are my mattress firm? Like, how do they stay in business? Okay, whatever. This isn't a mattress firm conspiracy video. I'm sorry for sidetracking a little bit. But luckily, we are going to be able to grow a ton of carrots via these seeds that we have over here. And carrots will be some a pretty great early game food. And also healing because... Early on, things like band-aids, man. Listen, in our, in our end game account, I kind of abuse the amount of med kits I have stockpiled from all the raids I have. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I, I'm not gonna have that amount of first aid kits. We're gonna have to get a little bit creative with our healing practices. And uh, you know what? Call me Bugs Bunny, baby, because these carrots are going to be our salvation. All right, let's put that stuff away over there. Uh, we got some seeds growing. That'll take some time. So it's good to have that going on in the background. Besides that, um, I guess I could build the campfire and just have some food going as well. But before, before I cook anything, you know what I could do? Instead of that, uh, I'm gonna take the raw meat, toss it on the meat dryer. The meat dryer doesn't require fuel for us. So I'm, yeah, I'm just going to stick with using the meat dryer in this case. I think that's just like going to be a better usage of things. Um, if we're going to the plane, I'm pretty sure we'll find a shirt there. So I'm going to go there extra naked because I think we'll be fine and have more inventory room and hopefully not have to make too many return trips over there. But I, I mean, whatevs. We'll see. Here's the chopper. We're going to have to go ahead and finish up. Hopefully. I mean, here's the thing. A lot of these things can be gotten from the free side of seasons. Like literally the last, like however many seasons have had like the ability to get all of these things for free. Maybe not 20 engine parts all at once. Maybe. I don't entirely recall. I don't remember exactly how many engine parts the season drops. I'd tell you guys if I could double check, but get it this Stupid level freaking 15. So hopefully we're ready for season 21. Uh, which McCall? By the time that uh, 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 it, it rolls around. And hopefully we're level 15 by then. It looks like level 15 is going to be the bare minimum that we need. But okay! Naked Man McGee Star is going out into the wilderness. On his quest to be the best sushi chef in all the wastes. But on top of that, I am, I'm, I'm just kind of brainstorming here off the top of my noggin. Just kidding, I lost my brainstorm. This is a this is a tragedy 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 tra tragedy? Tragedy. Tragedy. This is a tragedy. How has this occurred? I was gonna say something useful. I know, right? Start saying something useful, that never happens. I, I swear it was gonna be useful. Darn. I'm sorry, y'all. I totally forgot what that guy was gonna say, but we got the scratch plane coming here. And hopefully we'll be able to provide us with some very good uh, goods. And then uh Hopefully not too much resistance. I, I, I think there might be a few zombies here that try to kill us or something. But I think we should be able to make do. I think we will be okay. Because, I mean, at least right now I ain't seen any zombies. Just a lot of dead people. And yo, who that? A little puppy! Woo! What a pup! Get up in here, baby. I will, I, I will name you Gerald. Gerald the pup. Why? Dude, I don't know. Gerald just seems like a very sophisticated net. You're right. No, not Gerald. Reginald! Reginald the pup that I will name that dog Reginald as soon as I get to the naming phase for now We cannot open the pup. I actually oh, I'm gonna have to build the freaking doggy pen before I open that aren't I? All right, Reginald it might take some time Unfortunately, uh, you might be living in a cardboard box for a while. You might be like I found an owner. He'll treat me right Listen, you found the wrong owner. All right, this owner is a glorified broke boy And I'm gonna be honest your house might be a little bit better than mine That cardboard box he came in might literally be better housing and shelter than I currently have in the world of free to play last day out here. let's go baby we got a little bit of arm that that stuff is dinked up but uh definitely will be good here's something i'm oh do 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 
to Rude Sandstorm. <laughs> no. Uh, dude, what we are going to want to do as soon as possible, what level is it going to take for us to get the Recycler 32? Bro. Yeah, okay, that might take a little while, but uh, the Recycler came to mind because I can tell you right now, what's going to be really good about this is that this armor... I mean, I gotta be good about this here, because I'm usually just let my armor break on me in my end game account here. In the early game account, we're gonna want to wait until our armor is like almost no durability left, and then recycle it, because we'll be able to get experience for our recycler at the cost of like pretty much one durability armor and stuff, which is a pretty good payoff. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Now, I, I, speaking of payoffs and having to see and loot, uh, we are not gonna have the room to grab everything here i dude i gotta get this extra pocket too i forgot man we don't have that extra pocket perk right away ah talk about pain but uh whatchamacall uh yeah we are gonna have to freaking probably come back here because i do not believe we will have everything we require inside of our inventory we have acquired another cleaver that will be nice yeah 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 uh but i i mean our inventory is already full so i'm just gonna go through all these chests and just kind of, you know, anything that stacks, just stack it up to save up a little bit of inventory room is the next time around. Because here we are pretty much reaching, I believe, the tail end of the plane. And there should still be, oh, baby, a med kit, man. Time to return home with loot. Yeah, hold your freaking phone, Mr. Survivor. All right, I'm experienced here, right? This is your conscience talking. And uh, I'm telling you right now, I know what's good for you. And we're going to keep looting here and stacking this up to the ceiling on the 22-inch chromes, if you know what I mean. Oh, goodness gracious. We we shall return for that. Oh, and it comes with the light shot, dude. We're not going to be seeing many active skill mods unless we get lucky in this series, you know. Or, I mean, okay, we probably will eventually, but it may take a little bit of a while. Uh, that is going to be awesome, man. We are going to want to hold and cherish onto that for dear life why is that arrow pointing us that way is that the kind of mini quest that we're on to what you call to, 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 to get back home or whatever that might be what's going on all right well if that's the case um i'm on the case so I'll, I'll be home in just a gif all right because we've looted up most of what there is here but there were a few things that again we are gonna have to come back for and just double checking that i'm not crazy or anything anything on this side of the map no and like chests off on their like own side of things. It is a pretty wide map. I mean, you never know, man. Oh, and I could also auto collect this location too whenever we come back. Cause at least it appears I haven't been jumped by any zombies yet. So if I had to guess, I think, ah, oh, I spoke too soon. Hello, Roman zombie. How you doing? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm really not at all concerned about the fact that he's here because he is ridiculously slow. Although I guess I could kill him for the experience. YOLO. Let's do it, baby. Die. Beautiful. He's very dead. We're very close to level three. And did I already loot this over here? Uh, appears that I did. All right, let's make our way. Just double checking. There's not really any chests over on this corner of the map. Does not look to be the case. All right, all right, all right. There's an engine, but I can't carry that home. Man, I ain't that big and strong. Let's go to the map. Oh, a military backpack. I'm sorry, game. I don't know if you heard, but this is free to play. I will not be acquiring your items that require the dollar reduce. Although I will say, hopefully we can get some coins from like the free season passes and the free survivor's guide. Cause the thing is coins are gonna have a really good use. Cause I can tell you right now, whenever we beat the lab for the first time and we gain access to trading with the janitor at the laboratory, dude, that man has the greatest things I've ever seen on sale for five coins. It's actually ridiculous. Including things like armor piercing weapons, like stuff that would be pretty hard pressed to find. So, like these coins over here, we're gonna hold on to and cherish for our last day on earth lives. All right, this is the janitor fund. I'm opening up my last day on earth retirement account. And you know who it's going straight to the janitor as soon as we meet him, Star? Why are you talking so much about this janitor? If you don't know about the janitor, then I'd probably just sound like a madman, which is a completely fair assessment. Honestly, that might be a fair assessment, even if you did know what I was talking about. I'm a bit of a madman, what can I say? Uh, oh, hello, hello, healer, baby. Do you have a... Oh, that's not the wrong one. This is the right one. The brain weed seeds. That, this, this healer and the brain weed seeds are going to be your best friend in the early game for the love of everything. Use the heck out of that, okay? You want to 1,000% be talking to your healer friend and be doing 
the healer magic. You know, it, it, it will treat you very good. You want, to, you, you want to do that. That is extra experience. And dude, yeah, I'm not going to be able to open up the freaking shepherd pup. I feel so bad about that. But uh, such is life, I suppose. Such is life. All right. All right. Let's go and put that thing away right over there. And then I believe it's already time. I can't even believe my eyes for, uh, for another chest. That's right, baby. What's it going to take for us? To craft another small box. I haven't crafted a chest in so long. There's like a limit of 40 chests. And I've been at that limit for years. Our end game account, right? Uh, small box. Tree wood. Five plant fiber. And this is a question I get a lot, by the way. That hopefully I'll be able to provide a good answer for. People are always like, Star. How the heck did you get trunks? How the heck did you get like these better chests? I can only craft small boxes. I will inform you with the power of knowledge. How such a thing was done. You go into your chest. You press this button. Boom. You can upgrade your chests via this button right over here. And again, like I was saying, I think a little bit earlier, I don't know, I have the memory of a freaking goldfish. Uh, we don't want to repair our walls. I will collect that, though, because we'll get some pretty decent stuff out of that, which I am definitely happy about. But yeah, we don't really want to repair our walls because the horde that comes every day will just break anything that isn't stone. And honestly, the walls... Don't really protect us from anything. Just kind of like more decorative for the early game, to be completely honest. Once we get to raiding at level 150, maybe a different story, but we, we got a little bit to go in case you guys weren't able to figure that out when I said level 150. Only about 148 levels to go. We'll get there. We'll get there. And the best way to get there. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get rid of the armor. Uh, what should we call? Oh, I got to remember, dude. We definitely got to knock out these survival guide uh, quests as they appear as well. But a little bit of a detour here. We're going to talk to the healer. And do some of this voodoo magic. All right. Give me your seeds, healer. Give them to me now. Beautiful. And we get 100% extra experience. You love to freaking see it. That boost right over there at the bottom. I forgot what it's like to have an experience bar at the bottom that actually goes up, man. I've been stuck at level 209 for Lord knows how long, baby. How are we looking on food and water? Uh, we might need to grab a little bit. Worst case, when that's necessary, I'll just like pick some berries and stuff. But for now, why don't we go ahead and make an exit stage left and go over back to the airplane and grab some of the rest of the stuff that we left behind there. That'll probably auto clear the zone a little bit. And then hopefully we will also witness like an airdrop or something appear on the map. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm biased because I would like to loot such a place because airdrops seriously, man, are so good early game. And was that the sound of an airdrop appearing that I maybe heard? No, that's the sound of an April Fool's Day pack and a, a chicken backpack. Yeah, I gotta get my hearing checked, man. My, I, I obviously heard the wrong thing. <laughs> but all right, back to the crash plane. We go. Let's go ahead and enter into this location and get to collecting all these things. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do the survival guide quest. I think for the first day they should be a little bit on the easier side of things. What was it like? I think just like some visit a few zones, kill a few zombies, that type of stuff. And then, hopefully, as we travel and use up energy, now that we're actually paying attention to energy, <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Um. I believe that events should start popping up as we use more energy, if I recall. So, we're going to be having to move it, move it around and make King Julian proud. But I think we should be able to do that. Now, which freaking bags actually had the stuff, man? I don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, speaking of things at the top... Y'all should definitely go ahead and go to that link to the very top of the description or near the top of the description or in the pinned comment or something like that. Twitch.tv slash stars live. We're live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time streaming some last down. I have an absolute blast. We got the face cam on. We got the live chat rolling. And we also do do giveaways sometimes over there. We literally just did a giveaway last Friday for the season pass plus 10 levels. And on top of that, a thousand coins to all of the winners that did win that giveaway. So plenty of great opportunities over there to give back to the community. And also just always every freaking Friday have an absolute blast and an awesome time and kicking off the weekend right again with the face cam too making for a little bit of a different and fun experience compared to what y'all might be used to over here on the youtube side of the content where i don't usually have a face cam on star but why i don't know man i just never really use face cam on videos you know but if you want the face cam boom you head over to the twitch and you can get what you wish but all right why don't we go ahead and get to auto clearing uh this type of stuff and then while that auto clear oh baby is going on we're gonna be leveling things up and dude please what do we have over here anything good I don't care about the movement speed. Ooh, healing while at our base, dude. I'm going to be honest. This is a really good early game skill because that means whenever we go back to our base, we can get free heals. So as long as we don't succumb to too much damage, 
that will actually be very very important because like we'll just be able to instead of like using a band-aid in combat yo why is there a freaking wolf attacking me get out of here i'm too naked for this i will take that experience though but yeah like instead of like you know just suffering some uh you know getting an arm chopped off and having to use a band-aid i can just go back home and the arm will magically regrow you know i mean the, i think it works like that something like that something or other i don't know uh and then i'll probably take this opportunity here if i find some stones i'll craft up like a hatchet and get to the chippity chopping of this as well but if not uh no worries but yeah looking forward to seeing you all over there at those streams like i was talking about especially now with the free-to-play account going on i do believe that we will also be doing some free-to-play shenanigans over there no worries y'all ain't gonna miss anything major if y'all do miss out on a stream for example i'll try to make sure that the most major free to play milestones in this series of course do happen on video so it is a cohesive and great experience but you know there's some things we'll be able to knock out on the stream and have a good time but then of course we're not i'm not i'm not saying we're always gonna be playing the free to play account over there but uh let's go again another level uh there's something that we can go ahead and use to mix things up on the stream side of things uh too and get a little bit of uh, experience and leveling and uh stuff like that but again obviously we still got the end game content you know with our main account that we can go ahead and use go on raids bunker bravo runs all the crazy stuff that at the moment i can't even dream of if i try to do in this account a bunker bravo run right now i I'd, I'd, I'd clear it no problem man it, it, i'd be setting world records and dude i love oh man i was gonna say it's so fun to freaking climb uh climb up on the wing over there i just want to do that for a second all right why don't we go ahead and pop on over here what do we got in terms of skills Ah, not too great, not too great. I honestly don't actually know what Lucky does with this 2% chance to get rare loot when searching chests and locations. I don't know what chest that's referencing. But you know what? I'm feeling lucky, punk. I'll take a little bit of that. Thank you. Uh, very kindly. Now, my water and thirst and hunger and stuff is starting to go down. So we might go ahead and run back to base here. Und just a jiffy. And I know that there's like wood and stuff here. Honestly, I'm not too worried about collecting the wood here. I mean, it's not that crazy of a resource. I can go to literally any green zone and collect wood. Uh, I know it's like not like the best practice to leave loot behind, especially early game. But, you know, I, I think that I think that's a sin. Y'all can go out and forgive me for it. Eh, cut me a little bit of slack. What can I say? Come on, help help a brother out. You know, I'm just I'm just starting out, man. I'm a noob. Noob alert. Noob star alert. Star noob. That is my new name. I am no longer star snipe. I am Star Noob. Star Noob merch coming soon. Prepare your wallets. Unfortunately, the merch would not be free to play. I, I don't think you can free to play merch. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Back on home. We go. <gasps> Yo! And we got a pearl. Oh, we got starvation. Hold up. We got someone who obviously wants to say hello to me. I will say hello to you here. And just a jiffy, my friend, because at the moment, I'm a little bit preoccupied with a lot of stuff that's going on. Uh, that I'm going to go ahead and get to putting stuff away over here in this chest. Uh, I'm going to go and put some, some stuff away over into the pickup truck, and then I'm going to die and get my free health back. Because gosh darn it, I want my free health. You know? What can I say? I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking for... Listen, man, you, you got to maximize, and we're going to maximize the heck out of this. I am not using food or water items until I absolutely have to. And that will never be at base. But I go ahead. <clears throat> now, if you will excuse me, I will just go ahead and peacefully die in peace. One health left. Uh, boop. And I am now dead. I have died of hunger, dude. This hunger guy sure seems like a like a kind of a douche canoe, man. He seems to be taking me out quite a lot. Not very cash money of you, my friend. Cannot say that I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are the real MVPs. Shouts out to y'all. Hopefully ever. By the way, I don't think I gave y'all the most important wish of the day hopefully everyone out there is having an absolutely fake freaking testing day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out oh free food i'll take that thank you very kindly sir hey hey i like to see that let's go baby but uh yeah i'm not gonna talk to you quite yet i feel like he's gonna rope me into some sort of ponzi scheme or something knowing these are post-apocalyptic types so i'll go ahead and follow you in just a jiffy my friend maybe i'll even put on some clothes when i follow you that guy's kind of sussing me out a little bit you know he, he, he's sus i saw him vent vote, vote 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 him out vote him out of the ship kick him into the airlock i don't know but uh anyways we'll go ahead and talk to that fella in the next episode of our last day on earth free to play series because that's gonna start wrapping it up uh, for me for now when we return the first of these events that i was talking about where every day a new event appears for like the first six days i believe that you play last day on earth this is gonna be the first one of those and i totally forget what i'm getting myself roped into but from what i recall it should be fun and hopefully worthwhile in terms of loot because it's early in the game man 
I would like all the loot that I could freaking handle, man. Please. Literally need all the loot possible. And I gotta freaking equip that backpack and put this cleaver back on me. But with that said, with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is gonna go ahead and stop breaking it into this episode of Last Outer. It's free to play. Make sure you're subscribed to that notification bell to stay in the loop with the free to play series and, of course, with any other Last Downer content that does come out because. On top of the free-to-play series, we'll still be sure to mix in a little bit of endgame content. But hopefully, y'all are enjoying the series. Hopefully, y'all are excited for this. I know that I am because it's going to be definitely a cool and humbling experience to experience the game 100% of free-to-play. Hopefully, y'all are excited for it. I know that I am. But that'll go ahead and continue in the next episode of Last Down. And with that said, with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to start bringing an end for me for now. Thank you guys a whole lot for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.